What's up today, Fit Body Nation? I'm glad you joined me here today for this workout. I hope you are ready to get your sweat on. We've got quite the agenda today, but first let me start out to say we are going to be focusing everything we've got on burning a solid inch of fat off the chest, off the stomach, and off the thighs. Those three areas are our biggest area of focus today. We've got 20 minutes to put this thing into high gear to really give it everything we've got, not letting anything else get in our way. So for 20 minutes, I want you to focus, buckle down with me, and let's go hard on today's workout. And if you choose not to, that is on you. That is your consequences. We're all gonna go hard on this. We're gonna get those results. We're gonna make it happen. So here's what you're gonna need today with this workout. I need you to make sure that you've got a set of dumbbells, okay? Um, it can be a heavy set, it can be a light set. I believe I've got the 30 pound dumbbells out here. I may go and grab a 20 pound set just in case. Um, also, make sure you've got something to do dips on. I brought this ice chest out that you can see right there. I'm gonna be doing dips on that and a couple other exercises that we have coming up. Make sure you've got your water in hand. So what we're gonna be doing, I've taken 20 full body exercises, okay? Some are harder than others, some are with dumbbells, some are without dumbbells, some are with calisthenics and body weight only, um, while others are focusing on slower movement and just strength overall. We're not gonna have any time to rest, no time whatsoever, zero, okay? There is transition time from one exercise to the next, but that transition time is literally 10 seconds. That's not a lot of time at all. It's just enough time to get a quick drink of water and to transition into the next exercise. But I wanted to step it up. I wanted this to be an absolute, just challenging workout today for you and for myself. So with that being said, get your equipment and let's get this thing started. As a reminder, if you need to stop and catch your breath or rest longer, be sure to pause the workout catch your breath, and then hit play again and pick right back up. All right, we're gonna get this thing going. So we're gonna start with a quick little warm up. We're gonna get the blood flowing, get loosened up just a little bit. So let's start with our high knees in three, two, one. Here we go. So get the knees up. We're gonna get it moving on this. There you go. So like I said, just a little bit to loosen the muscles, get the blood flowing through the body. That way we're not pulling anything and we're not you know, injuring ourselves, okay? Because we got lots more workouts coming up. So let's make this one a safe one, but an effective one at the same time. All right, so now from this one, we're gonna take it into squats, but I want you to move slower. So feet a little past shoulder width, squat down nice and low, come right back up. See, I'm keeping a pretty slow and steady pace on this. I want you to do the same thing, okay? There you go, good. That's it, you got this, come on. So this one's gonna be slowing the heart rate back down, but it's gonna be keeping the blood flowing to the legs, all right? There you go, very good. We need to get everything dispersed throughout the core, because the first exercise we're gonna be starting with is the abs, okay? So we need to get that blood moving. All right, now a couple more on these. Very good, you got it. And like I said, hopefully you got something to do dips on. So we're gonna turn to that, and we're gonna do an incline push up off of it. Okay, good moderate pace on this. Doesn't have to be slow, just a steady pace. But make sure you're on some type of incline. Whether it's against a wall, the side of a table, a chair. There you go, good. Okay, keep moving on this, don't stop. Like I said, the warm up won't be very long, just enough to loosen you up. There we go. Excellent, five more reps, four more reps, three, two, and one, back up to your feet. Let's take it into jumping jacks, there you go. Perfect, excellent, excellent, excellent. And I will say as far as following along with today's workout, it's definitely easy to follow along with, but doing 60 seconds of work for each exercise, 10 seconds to transition, Non-stop for 20 minutes, that's pretty tough, all right? But we're gonna make it. We may sweat to death, but we're gonna make it. And relax, get some water, catch your breath, this is the last rest we're gonna have. 
All right, we're starting with a hip rock plank. So you're gonna be in a forearm plank position. Your hips are gonna be rocking from side to side, trying to touch your hip to the ground for one minute, starting in five. Good luck to you. I know you're gonna do awesome. In four, three, two, here we go. All right, so lock it in position in that forearm front plank. Once you're tight and staying here, go side to side. Good. Now you want to try to get the hips over to the ground or get your thigh over to the ground. That's it. And so when you're doing this, you're not just working the center of the core, you're also hitting the obliques. All right. There we go. And that's the love handles, that's the sides. So this is a good overall all around abdominal exercise. We've got about 30 seconds left. There you go. You got this. Come on. 30 seconds. Keep moving. There we go. Don't stop. Keep it up. This is our first one. We're actually going to end with something similar to this first one. There we go. So it'll kind of come full circle. There. Good. Don't stop. 10 seconds left. Keep moving. We're going to be going to a seated position next. So make sure you're next to a couch or a chair. Three, two, one. Good. Up to your feet. So this one is going to be a seated shoulder press. Perfect. Get ready. Three, two, here we go. All right. So you're going to be in the seated position and you're pressing straight overhead. Here we go. Here, I'll face you. Good. So press it up, bringing it right back down. Don't go too crazy fast on this. If you do, you're going to burn your shoulders out before we get to the end. Now, I'm using the 20 pound dumbbells for this. You can go heavier, you can go lighter, you can use one dumbbell, you can use two dumbbells. But try to stay consistent, whatever you choose to use. All right, 30 seconds, good. Doing perfect on this. We've got some cardio coming up next. That's it, excellent. Come on, 20 seconds, give or take. Keep those presses going, press them up, bring them back down. We're gonna challenge ourselves today. Like I said, we're gonna work to burn that inch of fat off. Those are the problem areas, those are key areas. Me and you, we're locked in this pack together today. We're gonna to burn. Five seconds. Three, two, stand up to your feet. Okay, so this one is a foot tap. I'm gonna use this elevated igloo ice chest, but we're doing high knees. I'm trying to tap my toe on the box. So just like this, start slow, and then you wanna to try to come up and tap with your foot. Now, I realize this is gonna be extremely loud. If I do it on every single one, I'll show you. And it's gonna go all over. So, if you've got a couch or a chair, something a little more solid, it'll work better. But your goal is to tap your toe, get those knees up every single time. There you go. Perfect, keep working. 30 seconds, good. That's it, you got it, keep moving. We're almost there. Come on. 20 seconds and counting. Don't worry, I'll let you know what's next. Don't stop, don't stop. You can do this. I know it's gonna be painful. We're gonna make it. We'll suffer together. Almost there. Five seconds. All right. Next is a renegade row. So grab your dumbbells. We're gonna be doing a push up with a row. All right, so down, push up, row the weight up, down, push up, row the weight up. Now I know you're probably still trying to catch your breath from the last exercise, at least I know I am, but that's okay. You can still work while catching your breath. May not be easy, but you can do it. Let's move, there we go, come on. Doing good on this one. That's it. Don't stop. 30 seconds. Keep those renegade rows going. We're going to be there. We're almost a quarter of the way through this anyway. And that's went pretty fast. So, I think we're going to make it. We're going to be just fine. Come on. Keep working. That's it. Come on. Six more seconds. We got cardio coming up again. All right, up to your feet now. 10 seconds. This one, we're doing four high knees with a tuck jump. Okay, here we go. So, one, 
two, three, four, tug jump. Here we go. One, two, three, four, tug jump. One, two, three, four. Get that tug jump. Come on. No stop. One, two, three, four. Tug jump. One, two, three, four. Tug jump. Let's go. All right. Keep moving with me. Four. Tug jump. So four count high knee with a tug jump. Ooh. That's it. One, two, three, four. Come on. Do a fantastic. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Get that tug jump. One, two, three, four. Ten seconds left. We've almost made it. Two, three, four. Tug jump. Come on. And relax. Okay, we got dips next. So get whatever you're using to do dips off of. Here we go. Exercise one. All right, now, nice and low. Good. This will work the, tr the triceps. It'll work the shoulders as well, okay? Keep your back close to whatever you're using. Down, right back up. Let's see if we can make it 30 seconds before we have to stop. Because triceps, get that lactic acid build really quickly. Doing good. We're going to be going into some ab work next. Cool thing is, we're on our sixth exercise. So, we're making really good time on this. Okay, it's going by. When you keep the rest out of it, it makes it fly by. It hurts worse, but it flies by. All right, 12 seconds. Come on, almost there. We got eight seconds. Then we're going to be doing leg raises next. So we'll be flat on the ground on our back. All right, get some water if you need it quickly. Might as well leave the lid off <laughs> if you are using a bottle like that. All right, so leg raise. Bring them up. You're going to lower them right back down. Bring them up. Lower them right back down. Good control on this. I like to keep my hands on my stomach, okay? One, I can feel how tight my abs are. I can also tell how much extra cushion is there that I need to be burning away. And I like to keep my head off the ground. And what this does is it forces me into a crunch position the whole time. So it makes it a little bit harder because when you rest your head, you relax your upper abs. This forces them to keep tight, also puts more force on the lower abs. So bring them up, right back down. We got 20 seconds left. You're doing good on this. You're doing amazing, actually. Let's keep working. Come on. We're suffering together. Good, 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 good. Almost there. We got about eight seconds. Come on, keep working. We're gonna beat our 10 second transition. That's all the time you need to catch your breath. And two feet, I think. Okay, next is gonna be a slow incline push up. You're gonna be on the box. We're gonna be doing push ups down slow. Okay? So for this one, you're gonna go down slow, maybe a little bit faster than I am, back up slow. You're gonna maintain that all the way through. Now what this is doing is toning our arms, it's toning our chest, but it's also forcing our abs to continue to work from the last exercise we did. Good, down slow, back up slow. There we go, maintain. Now you should get up through, I would say eight reps on this in the time. You might get a couple more, you might get one or two less, but shoot for about eight. That's the speed we want. Good. Almost there on this one. We're gonna be coming up to squat presses next. 10 seconds left. I think this is my eighth one right here. Keep moving. Three, two, one. All right. So grab one or two dumbbells. We've got a squat press. Okay, bring them up to your shoulders. You're gonna squat low and press high. All right, so low squat, press it overhead. Good, low squat, press it overhead. Perfect. Now, when you're using the momentum from the squat to do the press like this, it turns it into cardio. You get a good fat burn with it because it boosts your heart rate. Good. 
Nice low squat. Use the momentum from the squat to finish the press. Perfect. This one's tough. I know I'm sweating. I won't run up to the camera and show you, but I know I'm sweating. Good. Whew, 10 seconds rest. It's not a lot. Definitely makes it a challenge. Whew. 16 seconds. There we go, there we go. Whew, arms are burning. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, five seconds. I just remember to tell you something. And relax. Okay, next is going to be kickbacks. You're going to be on all four, down like a dog. Okay? We're going to do kickbacks. So straight back. We're going to spend 30 seconds on this one. Now, this one's an easier one. I put this one in here to focus on the glutes, but also so we could use it to catch our breath. It's basically a working rest. I put it in here on purpose because I knew I'd be dying right about now. So, keep kicking back. Here we go. Good. We're going to do 30 seconds on this leg, 30 seconds on the other. Here we go. And let's go ahead and switch to our other leg. Now, what I was laughing about, if you saw a few seconds ago, on my legs, I have marker, permanent marker in black and orange on my legs. My daughter decided to draw some tattoos on her uh, old pop's legs. So yeah, I forgot it was there until I looked down. So I don't know if you can see it in camera or not, but I'm sure you can, and so it probably looks extremely weird. All right, keep moving, and up to your feet. Now, what we're gonna be doing now is grab one dumbbell. You can grab two, depending on the weight. We're gonna do upright rows. Work our shoulders, work our arms, okay? Work those traps. So bringing the weight straight up. Now, I've done these in the past, probably in the last couple workouts, where I did a sumo squat with a high pull. And that's where you do a squat, feet are wide, you come up on your toes. But this is just the upright row. So bringing the weight straight up, right back down, following the visible line on your body. There we go. Keep breathing with me. That's it, you're doing good. It's definitely a little toasty out here today. As always, you got some bright lights in your face. And it's just hot, just hot, hot, hot. I do have fans and stuff out here, but they echo in here, so it makes it really loud. So I have to turn all that off. But it's okay, because I know that I burned extra calories by sweating like that too. Okay, see, so keep pulling the weight up. We've got about 10 seconds left. I'm trying to see what we got next. There we go. And we're already through our 10th exercise. Okay? Coming up on 12. All right, so now we're doing a reverse lunge. So this one, you're gonna step back, and then I want you to do a high knee with it. Okay, so I'll show you. So step back, bring that knee up, then alternate. Step back, bring that knee up, alternate. If you get confused when you're alternating, stay on the same leg for 30 seconds, then switch to the other one. You can do it that way as well, depending on your coordination, how much thinking you wanna do. There you go, good, perfect. That's it, so stepping back, nice and low. I love reverse lunges. One, it's really good for the quads, it's good for the hips, but it's great for the glutes. It's some of the best glute exercises that you can do. So if you're trying to build a little bit of shape back there, between deadlift and reverse lunges, you can't go wrong, all right? Just make sure you keep a good, clean, proper form all the way through it. Lunges is one of those exercises you gotta keep really great form because you'll get a lot out of it or you'll get nothing out of it, depending on that. Five seconds left. We've got some cardio coming up. All right, get a sip of water if you need it. We've got low jacks, which is where you're doing jumping jacks, but you're keeping your knees bent. All right, here we go. So it's like you're in a squat hold. So you pretty much start in a squat hold. You keep it low, and then you go into a jack movement. Now, if you have really bad knee issues or ankle issues, I would do a regular jumping jack or high knees, okay? If not though, no excuses, get down. Get down and work, let's move. I can promise that I'm hurting, definitely sweating. Whew, I didn't eat lunch right before this, so thank goodness I'm not feeling that, but it's definitely hurting. So try to keep it low, once you start getting tired, you're gonna naturally start to stand up, and straighten the legs. 
Instead of your legs easing up, they should continually burn more and more and more, making it hard to do anything else but cry. Okay, 10 seconds though. We can do this. We'll make it. 10 seconds. Come on. Stay low with me. Whew. Almost there. Relax. Okay. You're going to hate me, but we've got burpee jumping jacks next. Okay. So down. Drop it down. Go down. You're going to do a jack, a plank jack, and back up. Notice I took the push up out. So down. Plank jack. Back up. Small jump at the top. Down. Plank jack. Back up and jump. Great for the abs. Great cardio. Whew. Great for the lower back. Can't go wrong with this one. Good. Keep moving on this. Keep that pace. We got about 35 seconds. I'm going to personally try to speed up a little bit. I may not be talking as much. Here we go. Good. Come on. You got this. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Perfecto. We're almost there. 17 seconds. That's it. Good. I'm getting a little sloppy on my jump at the end. Put a little more focus there. Here we go. Five seconds. Come on. Two. One. Okay, next. Grab your dumbbell. Get it in your hip. Get close to a wall. We're doing a weighted wall sit. This one's going to suck. Exercise one. Okay. Just put the weight in your lap. Get against the wall. Stay low with it for the most part. If you get to the point where you can't do it, take the weight off. Put it to the side. Try to maintain, maintain the wall sit. I can tell you I hate this exercise. It's great though. It's good for you. I just hate it. Because it hurts so good. Okay. So try to balance your weight evenly. I know when I get tired, one, I try to shift from one leg back to the other. Not a good habit. Try to focus on both legs. Whew. Definitely burns. Ah, that tattoo work looks good. You see that? And my wife said, don't encourage your daughter to draw on your leg. Because when she can get the caps off the end of the markers, it's going to be on her face. So apparently I have to do all marker cleaning duty. We still got five seconds. Don't stand up. I just did because I suck. All right. And relax. Okay. All right. So apparently I'm going to have to clean all marker from here on out. Okay. Weighted or weighted. T push-ups are next. Push-up position. Here we go. So you're going to do a push-up. You're going to flare your arms straight to the ceiling. That's called a T. And you're going to alternate from side to side. Again, this is a core exercise to work on the abs. It's upper body. It's for your chest, for your shoulders, for your arms, mostly triceps. Okay? Good. But keep moving. Twisting side to side. You may not get a ton on this, especially if you're really feeling the tiredness. That is amongst us right now, but you can say stay consistent with your reps, all right? Keep working, keep working, keep working, and keep working. You're doing excellent. There we go, come on, 19 seconds. Almost there, you're almost through it. Just don't stop, keep pushing. 10 seconds left. All right, come on. We've got exercise number 17. Coming up next, and up to your feet. All right, hammer curls are next. It's funny, I have 30 pound dumbbells out here. I haven't touched them one time. All right, hammer curls. So, for this one, we're curling the weight up, all right, in a vertical position, right back down. Up in a vertical position, right back down. Good, so if you were using your dumbbell as a hammer, that's the position you would hold it in. All right, good, bringing it up, right back down. Almost through it, I know I'm feeling it. So I'm sure you are as well. Ooh. Try not to alternate, unless you're using one dumbbell, but try to maintain both of them, a concentration style curl all the way, okay? Which means both dumbbells are coming up at the same time, going down at the same time, without just dropping or swinging. Oh man, 14 seconds. We've got this. Come on. Come on. Me and you. I hit the record button, you hit the play button. We're hurting together. 
Okay? Man. We got dumbbell chest press next. So on your back. Whoo! Doing good. Here we go. Alright. So for this one, we've done this one a couple times recently. I don't think I'll have to tell you what to do unless you're new. But you're going to bring the elbows down to the ground. You're going to press the weight right back up. Touching the dumbbells together. Good. That's it. Good. So bringing the dumbbells down to the ground. I like to keep my hand pretty wide when they're at this bottom position. There we go. Nice. That way you put a lot more focus on the chest. All right. Good. Keep moving. If you touch your elbows to the ground, that gives you a full range of motion all the way down and all the way back up. That's the reason I do that. Excellent. Keep working with me here. Keep working. We're almost there. I can't see the time, so I'm literally just relying on it to count us down. And from that, we're going to be going into a weighted sit-up, which means we'll take one dumbbell, we'll put it on our chest, and we'll do a sit-up. Good. Come on. I know we're close. There it is. All right. So grab a dumbbell on your chest. Sit up with it. Now, this adds more weight, counterweight, to the top part of your body. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Almost went straight into it with no rest at all. Whoo! I was trying to cheat myself out of 10 seconds. So, coming up. Now, you want to try not to cheat yourself. So, if you are having to swing one hand into it while keeping the dumbbell on your chest, just take the dumbbell off, okay? I want you to build up the strength. I don't want you to cheat the actual exercise and the rep itself, all right? No worries. Nobody's watching you. Just you. So, do what you got to. That's why I love this style of workout. It's no pressure. Unless you're the one on this side of the camera. And then when you mess up, everybody sees it. But that's okay, because I do not care. <laughs> okay, let's go. And I apologize if I'm not in focus. I'm using a 24 millimeter lens, which is a little bit wider angle lens. Um, but it has really bad like autofocus, which is what I would normally use in a video like this. But it like just catches everything. It focuses on everything. And... Let's see what we got next. Okay, a plank. Our last exercise. What? Okay, so plank position. Flip it around. This is the last one right here, guys. We're doing this, me and you. So, yeah, um, I'm using that, and I just manually focused it in, guesstimating, um, based on that igloo by focusing it. So I'm hoping that I'm in focus here. If not, I apologize for being blurry the last 24 minutes of your life. All right, 43 seconds. Keep it tight. Now, I know this is the end. We've worked our abs a lot along with everything else. Pushed it hard for sure. I think my Fitbit is actually dead. Or I would look and see what the calorie burn is. But with that being said, this is our last few seconds. Keep it tight. Keep the butt down. Head up. Let's go hard. Did you get your results today? I know we all worked hard towards them. So whether we got it or we didn't, if you pushed hard, then you can definitely be proud of yourself for this one because it wasn't easy. I know it was fast. No rest in there. It really makes it feel like it's only 10 minutes, but it's not. It was full 20 plus minutes. All right. Six, five seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Last. That's it. All right, Fit Body Nation. We killed another workout, another Monday done. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I know I pushed hard on it. I'm guessing probably 150 calories, give or take in there. Um, but this is a workout that you're going to get a lot of after a burn effect after burn effect with it, which means you're gonna be a lot hungrier the next 24 hours. So pay attention to your appetite, don't go crazy on that. That's where the results really come from is in the kitchen. Um, also, I'm trying to work some new things with the channel. Um, kind of the intro trailer you saw in the beginning of this, the thumbnails for the videos on YouTube. I'm trying to make a few things better here and there. Um, so if you like some of the new changes that you've seen, let me know. I'm also thinking about rebranding the channel. Um, I love what it stands for and what it is, but I'm thinking about changing the logo up and some stuff like that. So that may be happening in the next few days. I just feel like I need to freshen things up, liven things up a little bit. All right, with that being said, I love you guys. Please subscribe, share this video, and I will see you here next Monday with a brand new workout with all the new latest and greatest changes to the channel. All right, love you guys. See you next time. Please subscribe, share, pass this on, smash that like, that thumbs up, and everything else that goes along with it. Boom. Catch you next time.